Jeez. Oh, your finger's in his throat. Right where's there. Toby? Where's the man? Hi guys, we're back in Florida. It is so nice to be back in Florida. Uh, we missed Toby Toby's Man so, so much. Fun. Toby, did you miss doing videos? So guys, today's a little bit different. Instead of us going out doing an adventure together, the adventure is coming to us. We live right on the edge of the Everglades. Like literally our yard and then the Everglades. That's why we have mosquitoes everywhere right now. We're gonna kind of tell you what happened before we show you what happened because it was very chaotic. So basically we just got back from Panama. We're doing yard work and planting some fruit trees for all the animals and us and Rhett's up front and he's just screaming my name. I'm like, why is like, what does this guy want? He's so <laughs> annoying. What? But he sounded like excited. So I'm like, is there another rattlesnake in the yard? I'm walking across the yard. I hear these blue jays going nuts. I run over to investigate it thinking that it's going to be another rattlesnake. We've been finding rattlesnakes in the yard, which is super exciting. We love all native wildlife. Mm -hmm. So I run over. It's a python. I screamed. I was like, sure. python! I grabbed Taylor and he the camera. The big guns, baby. Let's be honest. So I run up. I'm wearing my yard clothes. So I was actually dressed for once. We've never actually seen one like in our yard. So we are waiting for that to happen, and it did. Now that we have pythons in our yard, we actually have to start beefing up our security for our outdoor animals, yeah. like our monkeys. A bigger python could get into Toby's cage. Get him. Pythons do great here in South Florida because. The habitat's great, a lot of places to hide. The weather's great, there's deer, there's alligators for the large ones to eat. There's tons of rodents for the small ones to eat, birds for all of them to eat. So the baby pythons can get eaten by native wildlife, but once they hit 10 feet or so, there's not much to outcompete with them. Basically, they just fight with the alligators and see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to Florida, baby. I'm pretty useless. I let her do all the catching. And then I try to hand it off to Rex and start constricting my leg. I'm gonna be honest. You'll see shortly. Yeah. I somehow got bit then. It was my fault. It actually got her fingers. Like, <laughs> ah, and the teeth are recurved. Uh, it doesn't feel good to get bit. No. Stop boring you, and let's show you the cool footage we got of the python in our yard. Get, get that skeeter. Stop being a baby. Out of breath, I ran to grab the camera and tie. I heard the birds going crazy. I just found a python. It's like an eight footer. They're going nuts. It's right here in the palm cluster. It was cruising. It's a big stump tail. It was right here. Tay, like legit. There it is. There it is. There it is. Look, python. Okay, get his tail. I'll go find the front. Do you see him? Get him. Oh. <laughs> what? What? And then the chances of. Hold on. Let me get some. Dude, that's a. Woo. Oh. This footage is so shaky. Babe, I thought it was going to be a freaking rattlesnake. And I was like, oh, cool. And I was like, you know what? If I find it, I'll come back. And I see a python stretching the palms. Holy crap. Those blue jays alerted. Can you believe that? That's a first. Yeah. All right, Tay. Catch him. That is so funny. We had been out all night yesterday, all over the place. I'll try and get some video real quick, too. There's nowhere you can get away, too. No. Burmese python, <laughs> our freaking yard. <laughs> Hear how it's hissing? Look at it, look at it. I was so scared. I thought like the dogs died. I the dog. I heard the blue jays going nuts. Blue jays always let you know when there's snakes around. Yeah. It's very light color. It is super light color. It's got like a tick or something on its face. Dude, the mosquitoes are getting me. Yeah. You want to catch it? Here, let me get to where I can see you catch it. Tay's in her sexiest outfit, her yard work outfit. Okay. Tay. Yeah. Look at me. Look all sexy. I don't look good, guys. So. Ooh. Oh, got your arm. No, it didn't. It didn't? Nope. Now I did. <laughs> Tay, you're my hero. I want to be like you when I grow up. What? I want to be like you when I grow up. Don't hurt yourself. Ah. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Oh, it's going to get your hand. Watch out. I already got your hand. I am such a good husband. I stand Stop. back. 
Wow, what was that karate move? <laughs> they didn't want him to keep hurting himself. <laughs> he got your leg. <laughs> Hold on. Here. Let me. Hold on. So, this is where we put our trash. It's got got a good grip on your leg, Tay. Taking that pressure, yeah. taking that uh, that blood, whatever. Yeah. My adrenaline's pumping. I was not. I am too, cause I ran so fast. I thought like the dogs <laughs> got out and attacked or something. I was like, what could he be yelling about? Then I thought of EDB. I was like, he's making me run up here for EDB. Roll your eyes at my favorite snake. I dare you. Okay. Look at how that, so people always ask about like getting constricted and this and that. Look at, it's, it probably hurts your leg, but it can't actually break your leg. They're very strong at constricting, but the constriction cannot, you know, like I said. And if I let go of the head, he'd let go. It's yeah, and he'd crawl I'm away. The head. Damn, that's a f good constrict though. Is it hurting your leg? Yeah. Look at her, I just said that, it's hurting her leg. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. What, what? It's really hurting. Oh. He's really constricting. Okay, I'll take the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was saying can't break stuff. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh, wait. Was that you or the snake? The snake. Oh. <laughs> Remember guys, the snake is only fighting back because he... Oh, okay. You want to bite the camera, I get it. Okay. There we go. The snake is only trying to bite, not because he's mean. Because he's being captured. Let me see your hand. Are you okay? Yeah. He oh, you're fine. He just snipped me. Merely a fish. The constricting of my leg is what really hurt. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me get him. Babe, stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. Stop. Let go. Okay. My finger's deep in his throat. Oh, your finger's in his throat. How did we do that? That was my fault. I let too, go yeah. too soon. <laughs> I'm just, I should just. I don't just... want to do this anymore. <laughs> How do we do this? Um, shirt. Hold on. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. well, that shirt's useless. I guess we'll have to use my pants next. I don't know how the viewers will feel about that. This was a terrible. Okay. You're just not really helpful at all in this time. Um, so here you guys, we've talked about this many times. Uh, the animals will put up a quick fight and then once they're exhausted, they're exhausted. Grant will love this right in front of his trash cans. Wait, wait, Came from picture. down our street, huh? Wait, let me take a picture in front of his mailbox. Do you have your phone? Uh, no. Oh, okay. You want me to go get it real quick? Sure. Here, I'll set this to watch you in case anything crazy happens while I'm gone. This is gonna be awkward five minutes of footage. That's a good seven foot snake. Maybe an eight footer? Oh, that was the easiest herp trip ever. That was the quickest herp trip ever. Florida is a freaking weird place. Jeez, okay. This one has got some endurance. So I had to hold the python because Taylor wanted to run inside and get a little cuter than her yard clothes because, you know. Anyhow, this is actually the second python to show up on the street we live on. And the reason is right- In the last like two weeks, not ever. But yeah, like, in the last, last two, two weeks. weeks. So what's happened is the state of Florida is blowing up with development. It is the single biggest problem and threat to our environment is the rate of habitat destruction. Uh, the habitat destruction is getting so bad that even the pythons are losing their home. So there was about 100 acres right next to our house that bordered a big canal that they just cleared. And Completely. Yeah, so thank you to the state of Florida for directly pumping invasive species right into our yard through habitat destruction. The habitat next door was not only home to this snake, as well as bears, panthers, rabbits, possums, raccoons. Unfortunately, this snake is not native, and although he lost his home, wherever he would move to where the other native animals are being crunched into, he would cause further stress. So it does have to be removed from the ecosystem uh, permanently. It's a really weird thing living in Florida and loving reptiles and then having huge amounts of invasive reptiles that can cause damage to the native reptiles. So it's this really weird, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's an odd feeling because we don't have hatred towards this snake. Uh, he's just trying to survive like the rest of us. We're losing our, you know, our nice peace and freedom. He's losing his home. The native animals are losing their home. 
it's just getting way, way out of control. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We really enjoy sharing our lives with you, our everyday life, just planting trees and finding pythons in the yard. Our yes. life is crazy, um, so I have to admit it's crazy. <laughs> so we gotta go now, we gotta go beef up these monkey cages, and we'll see you guys next time.